you are either a vegan, a vegetarian or an omnivorous, you are going to love these delicious chickpea and veggie burgers. Coming up, a new recipe on Help Me Food. Welcome back everybody! Today I'm going to explain how I prepare my chickpeas and veggie burgers. If you are new to this channel, I am a nutrition and lifestyle coach and here you can find healthy tips, healthy advices and healthy recipes like this one. So if you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing and click the bell to get updates on new videos. For these recipes I'm going to use 250 grams of drained canned chickpeas, 80 grams of canned sweet corn, a small bunch of coriander, four or five leaves of, leaves of sage, a white, a red and orange carrot I got from my mixed box on the organic supermarket, one onion, a clove of garlic, 40 grams of corn flour, 40 grams of wholemeal flour, oh, did you see the dog? The lazy chicken assistant is on the run, doing nothing but learning as usual. Uh, what I'm saying? Yes, 40 grams of whole green flour and 40 grams of breadcrumbs. I'm also accompanying the burgers with some homemade tzatziki and some slices of tomatoes. You will find the instruction later in this video how to prepare the tzatziki. So let's start now with all the ingredients. First, you roughly chop the carrots and the onions. We need to saute everything in a bit of extra origin olive oil in a pan. Still while cooking and you have an homogeneous cooking. It will take only 5 minutes. Now we add everything in a cheap old useless food processor I have. I need to buy a new one. Ok, we start. With the intermittent button. Because we don't want uh, too smooth. We want uh, some nice chunky pieces of vegetables to chew in the final burger. And put the result in a bowl. After I fast cleaning on the cheap old food processor. <sighs> I add the chickpeas, the sweet corn, the sage, the coriander, all chopped by hand. Then the garlic, the corn flour, the whole green flour and the breadcrumb. To add the nice flavors, I also adding some spices, garam masala, cumin, and some black pepper. Then a pinch of salt at the end. So you start to grind with the intermittent button, and then after a bit with the normal intensities. Throughout the process, you can give a little stir to mix well all the ingredients. Then, put the result in the bowl where you already have the sauteed vegetables and mix all together with a spoon. Then it's time to get your hands dirty and you start to work with the mix with your hopefully washed hands. Then take the big of the mix and give it a bowl shapes uh, of the desired quantity and slowly give them a burger shape. From the mix, uh, I prepared about four big veggie burgers. Now all goes in the fridge to set up for about 30 or 40 minutes. Meanwhile, we prepared the tzatziki. To prepare the tzatziki, I used 230 grams of Greek yogurt, and if you are vegan, of course, you can use the vegetables the yogurt, vegan yogurt. A thumb, a long piece of cucumber, a clove of garlic, and some extra virgin olive oil. I start to cut the cucumber in very small pieces. I want it nice and small, but at the same time I don't want to use the food processor as I want to have a, a those crunchy bits. After working for a while with a knife and tell the bowl to get away from me, to the seeds slap the yogurt bowl, I drain the cucumber with some kitchen paper and add it to the yogurt and give it a little stir. Then I add some extra virgin olive oil and I chop the garlic, finely. Mix again everything all together and the tzatziki is ready to go in the fridge until dinner time arrives. 
Now I just slice some tomatoes to be added as a condiment and a source of vitamin C so the iron present in the legumes can be um, absorbed easily. Now it's time to cook the burgers and I heated up a small amount of oil and I cooked two burgers at a time at the low middle heat in a pan. Turn on the other side after two or three minutes and repeat the, pro the process one more time to cook each side perfectly. If you want to go full vegan, skip the cheese I added at the end or use vegan cheese. These are two small pieces of parmesan. If you are a vegetarian, go for it. If you are omnivorous, you don't care anyway, so why bother? We are almost ready. While well, you can see my knees feet and agony waiting to eat the burgers, you can also prepare your side salad with some spinach, black olives and sweet corn. The bun is already in the plate. So I spread some tzatziki, then I add the burgers with the two slices of tomatoes and a bit more tzatziki at the top. And that's it, this is the final result. I really hope you enjoyed the recipe as I enjoyed the burger for dinner. <laughs> Remember to subscribe, to click the bell and follow me on the social networks, all the links are in the description. This is everything for now, so I see you next Wednesday. I left to say eat well, live well and smile. Bye!